Olivier Ravel, thank you for uh, visiting us today. You have Pleasure. 25 uh, years of experience in uh, global commodities trading. You've been holding uh, various positions uh, in the trading uh, activity in London, Geneva, as well as Paris. And today, you are currently the head of commodities at uh, Euronext. Can you briefly come back on your career, your experience, and your company? Of course. I was very fortunate to start as an options trader on oil markets at Société Générale at the end of the first Gulf War. Um, I uh, developed uh, then for the few markets in uh, Paris, in London, and in New York, where I started to trade natural gas there for the company. Uh, I worked almost 15 years at Société Générale. Um, the last of two years I spent being a, a board member for ICE, what would become the famous exchange ICE, and uh, a company the digitalization of markets. Uh, I also worked at ABN AMRO, so another financial institution in commodity derivatives, both trading and structuring, and at Coke Supply and Trading, which is a trading house where I really delved into the physical nature of, of markets across the array of uh, commodities. Um, today I'm the head of commodities markets at Euronext for three years now. Uh, we are benefiting really from the work of 20 years uh, of the contracts on the Matif. Uh, we celebrated uh, a couple of years ago the 20 year anniversary of our rapeseed contract. Um, Euronext is, uh, is a well-placed exchange at the heart of continental Europe with a great deal of expertise in commodities and we are really with the ambition of broadening the scope, uh, like uh, the launch of fertilizer a few days ago. Uh, we, we hope to broaden further the scope of commodities outside of the pure, pure agricultural world in the next few quarters and years. Since uh, the beginning of the Paris Green Day project, you've been very enthusiastic about this event. Absolutely. Do you think there is a room for such a project in Paris? I'm very happy to see that finally one uh, organization is trying to promote an event, a training event in Paris, because uh, most of the time uh, of my life as a trader or as a manager, we have to travel either to London or to Geneva to attend uh, such events where I thought that the grain trade for Western Europe is really focused around France and France is the largest exporter. So it's only natural that finally uh, such an event happens in Paris. Um, we were speaking about changes. Mm -hmm. How do you measure or how do you size the impact of the emerging Black Sea uh, exports? Any, any impact on your activity? Definitely. Um, a bit of history. I mean, one of the reasons that the contracts on milling wheat really became an international benchmark is entirely related to events happening in the Black Sea. One can remember the famous uh, time where there was major fires in Russia a few years ago, and that time, all of a sudden, people started to be looking at our milling wheat contract as an international benchmark, and the volumes on that contract started to pick up tremendously. Since then, the interest of the global marketplace here and in the Black Sea has not subsided. We know that we have a lot of people in the Black Sea looking at our contract. Um, this is a very interesting and important geographical zone because it is a zone that is looking strategically to be taking on the uh, universe of exports more and more importance in the next few years relatively to North America and some of the other largest exporters, we believe that this is going to be a growing important place for physical flows. As a consequence, we need to provide this area also with a proper set of instruments, whether they are based in Western Europe or, uh, or we can maybe help them design instruments in, in, uh, at Euronex for, for, for the Black Sea. So competition is everywhere, as you mentioned. What about the other commodities exchanges? We welcome competition. I mean, we are one of the legacy exchanges in Europe for agricultural products. We have uh, uh, a great deal of uh, existence and, and breadth of our international benchmarks. Uh, we have not been confronted to competition for the longest while. This is changing. It has to be on a level playing field, and uh, we are very watchful about the regulatory environments as to uh, maintaining it level playing field. Um, we are very much focused on just adapting to the changing needs of the industry and adapting our instruments in that regard. 
Um, this is really what is the, the crux of our focus and will remain humble altogether. Well, thank you very much. Before ending this interview, I would like you to give the last uh, word to the future audience of the Paris Grand Day. Of course. Well, I'm really looking forward to see you next January in Paris. This is the first time that we are going to organize an extremely professional event for the purpose of trading grains and agricultural products in Paris. Um, we are really, really keen on seeing you all there at that time. Thank you very much. And Merry Christmas. Olivier Ravel, thank you very much. <laughs>